Hey, what's up, guys? This video is going to be an update on my one of my oldest, the oldest video, I guess. Uh, the uh, creating a simple app using Ionic 2 uh, video. So that video has been watched like over a 10,000 times, and it's one of not one of the second most popular video among all my videos, I guess. So I thought, why not update it uh, since I Ionic 2 has updated? Uh, I mean, uh, released a large amount of versions after the uh, version on which that video was made so yeah guys if you are expecting something interesting i'm sorry guys but uh, this is going to be an update for uh, for the beginners mostly and uh, I, I also apologize for my voice being like a bit you know uh, i'm sick guys i felt sick and i was sick for the past four or five days now I am a bit better, so I thought I'll go ahead and make this video. So anyway, let's get started. First of all, I have a uh, app created, and then I'm just getting into that app. Let's open up Source and uh, get into App, and then Pages Home dot It's a simple thing, right? So basically, what we'll be doing is we'll be doing this exact same application in the uh, current version of Ionic 2. That's what we are going to do now. Uh, if you notice, the last commit I made was nine months ago, and and that at that time even Angular 2 was in alpha versions, I guess. So there's been a lot a lot of changes in the Ionic 2 library after that. So uh, let's just you know write the same thing using uh, the present version of Ionic 2. So first of all. Uh, I'll open pages home home.js or wp service.js and then instead of using a service like this maybe I'll just get this I'm using HTTP rxjs uh, and that's all right so I'll get in here and then Then uh, RxJS import, import RxJS slash Rx. Uh, after that, uh, I'll just use one of the life cycles. I'll first create uh, HTTP. And then make use of one of the life cycles, the ion uh, view. Okay. Once the view is loaded, then what we'll be doing is uh, what we will be doing is the one which we had done here. We just make a call and then map it to something into a JSON format and then subscribe it and then return the data, right? And what we are doing with this data is. What you are doing with this data is uh, you are getting the posts from the data. Uh, that's all. Okay. Uh, so let's just this dot http dot get. Uh, okay. Uh, dot map map data data dot json dot posts okay i'm just getting the posts here itself instead of getting it uh, separately because i'm just coding that in the uh, home.ts file itself right i'm not using a separate service or something and uh, subscribe to this Dot, uh, card data 
equal to data. Current data I will have it here. Okay. And uh, yeah, this is enough, I guess. So we'll go back to home.html and then how did we tackle this here? We just used cards, I guess. Even cards have undergone a lot of changes, guys. Yeah, we have used cards. So let's go ahead and do the same here also. Uh, first of all, what we'll do is we will do this thing, this part and then go get back to the refresher. Okay, this is done. The reason I just time lapse this entire thing is that uh, this is pretty much known to you guys. Just I'm creating an ion card and then you know getting data from the card data which we already have in home.ts, right? Here we are getting the data and then displaying it on the screen. That's all. So first, let's you know run this and see whether this goes fine. Wow, this works fine, right? So now we have the uh, avatar of the author here and the author's name here and uh, <coughs> the link to the uh, author's uh, blog here and the blog post itself. Since I have used inner HTML, this looks pretty and uh, nice, right? So this is how you create a simple app using Ionic 2, guys. So uh, now I'll just show the refresher thing. So let's go here and then see how it's done. Okay, just copy this. And then go here. Sorry, not here. Go here. Paste it. Okay, this is done. We'll remove this from here now. And uh, we need an event to say that it's completed, right? Who oh, have they handled it here? Refresher. Yeah, it's done. So now let's go ahead and see uh, whether this works fine. Okay, we didn't refresh, right? We need to pull down. Yeah, now the call is made, right? So uh, we need to refresh once when the page loads. And you can just, you know, give the same code here also. See, it works fine, right? Now, if you pull down to refresh, it refreshes right yeah and pull to refresh also works so yeah guys this is how you create a very very simple uh, application in ionic 2 you had already probably seen my other video this is just an update to the creating a simple version of ionic 2 app using uh, the current version of ionic 2 with typescript that one was without typescript i guess so 
that i showed just one more thing that was the how to change the color of the title and uh, box shadow effect let's see if that works here as well so first of all i'll go here go to home not home i guess go to app and inside theme app dot variable dot css yeah we have two variables here right let's just take this and give it there most of the sas thing i haven't uh, i think they haven't made a lot of changes guys let's see i mean they have obviously built a lot of new stuff but i don't think they made that much changes in the existing stuff Yeah, it still works, right? It has changed the color to red and then there is this very, very negligible amount of uh, box shadow. Wait, I'll just, you know, increase the shadow maybe and then you'll notice a huge difference. Here, I'll just give it as a 10 and 10. And then here, I'll again give it as 10. Then, and then here I'll give it as uh, sorry, 10 and 15. Okay. See, you can see the box shadow effect is now more pronounced, right? See, you can see it, right? The shadow effect. So, yeah, guys, this is how you create a simple app in Ionity 2. We just saw, uh, we just saw how to make a HTTP call and then uh, get the data post it in cards and then display it in our app we just saw uh, how to use pull to refresh and then uh, how to change uh, just a color but you get the idea right how to change uh, styling inside our ionic 2 applications so yeah guys this is not anything new or anything complicated but if you are a beginner i hope this motivated you this inspired you to start uh, developing apps using Ionic 2 uh, from today so the same can be done for iOS apps as well and uh, the code isn't that much different at all you just need to take an iOS build that's all so uh, yeah guys uh, uh, if you like this video kindly hit the like button and uh, subscribe to watch more cool videos uh, I'll talk to you guys in my next video bye